Imagine all the time you could save if you could create an AI clone so real that nobody could tell it's not actually you. Well, here's the twist. What you just saw wasn't me on camera. It's an AI avatar I created using a special method I discovered. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. Creating a realistic AI avatar has been a huge time saver for me and I use it to create more content and to send my clients personalized video messages. But the biggest problem with AI avatars is they just sound a bit off or look a bit robotic and basically you can just tell right away it's fake. But I found a way around that by combining the right visuals with your actual voice, you can create something that nobody can tell is not actually you. So there are two parts to getting this right. First, let's talk about the visuals. I've tried a bunch of different AI avatar cloning tools and HeyGen just seems to be the one that's the most natural and realistic looking. Tools like Synthesia are close, but I find the animations and expressions to be a little bit over the top, whereas HeyGen keeps it a little bit more subtle and natural looking. The second part is cloning the way you sound and this is the part where everybody gets it wrong. Voice cloning tools like Eleven Labs are improving, but they're just not there yet. In fact, they're a little bit further behind than the visual components. So usually when you see an AI avatar, it's the voice that gives it away before the visuals. So the trick here is to use the visuals from HeyGen, which does an excellent job, and then combine that with your real voice and sync all of that up. It's the best way I've found to get around the current limitations of AI voice cloning and to create a real Really believable result. The good news is you don't need to be some sort of editing genius or have any special fancy software to do any of the syncing stuff I'm talking about. We're gonna do everything right within HeyGen and I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. But before we dive in, do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps the video out and consider subscribing for more content just like this. So to get started, click the link down below and sign up for a free HeyGen account. It takes a few seconds. Then once you've logged into HeyGen, click on avatars and then you can click create an avatar. Now just upload at least two minutes of the footage you'd like to use for your avatar. So this is gonna be the background that you'll be in, the clothing you want your avatar to wear. And don't worry, you can actually create multiple looks and you can repeat this process as many times as you want with different outfits. But you wanna choose a background and a good setup that has decent lighting so that your avatar will show up best. You can actually watch this example footage to get a good idea of how they recommend you do this. Now, if you have a professional camera, you can obviously use that, but if you have a smartphone, you could use that too. That's all you need. Smartphones have amazing cameras. Just make sure it's on a stable surface or a tripod instead of someone holding it, because if it's moving around, then your avatar is not gonna come out great. So it has to be in a stable position. So use your professional camera or your smartphone in a stable position. Now, once you upload your footage, it asks you some confirmation questions here regarding is your face visible? Are you looking at the camera? Are there pauses? You get the idea. This is really important and that the environment is well lit and quiet. So you wanna just shoot this avatar in the best possible reasonable case. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need to be in any professional studio or anything. Just make sure your background is cleaned up and you're in a well lit room. You don't need fancy lights or anything. Just use natural sunlight if needed. Then just hit my footage looks good and it will start uploading your footage. And if it's your first time creating an avatar, it's actually gonna make you read a consent, which basically you just read a few sentences it shows you with your camera on, and that's just to give it permission to use your likeness. Every single avatar tool does this. It just takes a few seconds and it just automatically verifies if you are the person you're trying to clone. Because imagine you could just grab someone's video and upload it and make videos as them. So there's actually a smart step to protect everyone using AI avatars. And then once that's all done, this could take up to about 30 minutes to create your avatar and you'll see the status of it right there. Once your avatar is processed, and again, it takes about half an hour, you can use that avatar as many times as you want. You don't need to remake one, but you could shoot a few different avatars in different outfits, which again, you would just need to repeat the same process. And again, it just takes about half an hour. And you can just click on any of your avatars and get a preview of what it looks like. Hey Kevin, your instant avatar is ready. So you can see the video sounds pretty good, but the audio sounds horrible. Um, you can actually integrate 11 labs into HeyGen and I've done that and it improves things, but it's still not as good as your real voice, which is what I told you the trick is. So let me show you how you do that part. So just write the script out for whatever it is that you want to record. 
I've written something really simple here. Hey, I'm gonna teach people how to use an AI avatar. The tool I recommend for audio is called Audacity. It's awesome because it's free and it makes it really easy to cut audio. So exactly like I said in this script, to record your audio, you can use Audacity. It's completely free, it's open source, it's awesome. Just go to audacityteam.org, I'll link it down below, and you can grab it for free for both Mac and Windows. Alternatively, you could use QuickTime on Mac, which is built into your computer and free, or Audio Recorder on Windows, which is also free, but this is a million times better and I'll show you why. So just open up Audacity and you can start recording. And what I love about Audacity and why I recommend you use it is because it lets you really easily cut things. So you can just go right click here, go split clip. So let's say you do a second take, right? Like you just go split clip, you delete the part you don't want, move it back together, really easy. So this way you don't have to do a perfect one-time take. You can just do as many takes as you need, really easily cut up the audio and then export your file. Just go to File, Export, Audio. Now, of course, if you wanna get the best audio quality possible, then you wanna use a proper microphone and at least something better than your webcam mic or your phone mic. Those are gonna be really, really bad. So even if you're using literally anything, the cheapest thing you got off Amazon or your headphones or something, it's still gonna be better than that. But if you do have a few dollars to spare here, I would recommend you get a microphone and there's something for every budget out there and I'm sure you can do the reviews and figure out what's right for you. But regardless of what you use, I'll show you a little trick here that can make almost any audio sound professional. It's completely free, podcast.adobe.com. And what this will do is it'll take your audio and it could be really bad and it'll make it sound like it's in a professional studio. Here's a sample. Best place to record audio, yet with enhanced speech, all of the background noise and echo is gone as if I recorded this in a... Exactly, and so all you need to do is grab your audio file that you just recorded, throw it in here, and then it will start enhancing the speech and give you the optimized version back. It's completely free, there's no signups, it takes like 30 seconds, so you have no excuse not to do this. So by using the best audio quality you can, then it's gonna make your avatar just seem so much better. But once your AI avatar is done processing and you've recorded your audio and cleaned it up if needed, now it's time to make our video and it couldn't be easier. Just go to create video, avatar video. Then you can choose between landscape or portrait. Let's do landscape. Then next, go in and choose the look that you've created. Again, if you have multiple looks, you can choose from them. I'll choose this one. And then what you wanna do is go in here and delete the script. Then what you wanna do is upload your audio like this. And once your audio has been uploaded, you can actually preview what it looks like. It just won't animate the video yet, but it'll show you the audio. Hey, I'm gonna teach people how to use an AI avatar. The tool I recommend for the audio is called Audacity. Great, sounds good. We can see that everything's lined up. We didn't have to do any timeline editing or anything. You just saw it was like three clicks. Then we just go to submit and we name it. Hey, Jen example, because I'm making an example for you guys and just hit submit. And so you can see that it's pending and depending on how long your video is, it might take 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes I've seen it done in less than five minutes if it's a shorter video. So it's really quick and you just need to wait and we can see it's already at 25%. And when your video is ready in a few minutes, you can click on it to preview it. Hey, I'm gonna teach people how to use an AI avatar. The tool I recommend for the audio is called Audacity. It's awesome because it's free and it makes it really easy to cut audio. That sounds pretty great and it actually sounds better when you're not listening to it through my microphone and you're actually hearing it on your own speakers. It really sounds like you because it is you. It's your actual voice. And so when you're happy with that, just click on the three dots and go to download. And there we go, we have our video and we can use it wherever we'd like. So that's how easy it is to create an AI avatar that looks and sounds just like you. You can use your avatar in presentations, you can use it to create more video content, and you can use it to send personalized messages to people. And those are just a few examples. Really, there are so many different ways you can use your AI avatar. Basically, any other place you would use video, you can basically use your AI avatar. Sometimes you wanna shoot a video, but you 
you haven't shaved, you haven't done your hair, maybe it's at nighttime, the lighting isn't great, or whatever the situation is, you just don't feel like being on camera. Uh, well, this is where an AI avatar is gonna come to the rescue, where all you need to do is speak into the microphone, and the video part always looks perfect. It's always you at your best, pre-recorded in a sense. And so this has been one of the ways where I really like it, because it just lets you get more content out, even when you're not performing at your best. Now, if you want to know what else you can do with avatars and HeyGen, check out this video right here where I show you how to send a thousand personalized emails in just a few clicks. I'll see you in there.